What's up guys, Lovain here, and today I'm coming at you with a video on my Holy Paladin. Uh, I decided to switch it up a little, and uh, I've been playing a lot of Holy lately instead of Ret. Uh, right now on live servers, Holy's pretty good. Uh, I, I really enjoy it. It's a very offensive healer, and um, last time I played it was in, what was it, Cataclysm? When I think they were also pretty offensive. Um, like I, I remember Shockadens being a thing back then. Um, but I've been really enjoying it. I'm not that geared, and my neck is, I believe, level 55 item level, or 55 neck level. So I don't have uh, many good traits. Also, my essences are mostly rank 1, aside from uh, the Conflict and Strike, which is rank 2. That's the essence that I've been primarily using. I really like Divine Favor talent, uh, so I can get Avenging Light, or whatever it is, the, the talent that makes Holy Light deal damage. Uh, in this game here, I'm playing with uh, a few friends and uh, Swifty, if you guys know him, he he was a pretty famous YouTuber at a time, he still streams on Twitch now, um, planning on jo joining his guild in Classic along with uh, several of my friends. But uh, I'm sorry I haven't put out a video in a while, I've had a lot of real life problems going on lately. Um, for those that you know me, I've been in the hospital in and out uh, several times, more than, more than several times in just the past month. I have been losing um, losing my ability to use my legs and uh, some of my arms sometimes, so it's pretty scary, but I can still try and make videos and upload uh, when I can. Um, I'm kind of hoping it's just like some tick related Lyme. Lyme disease or something, but uh, yeah, that's that's why I haven't been uploading much, or well, that's one of the reasons. Uh, in this game here, I'll go back to <coughs> a less depressing topic. I know we can talk about the game. Um, I'm just trying to escort the FC right here. This isn't live commentary, by the way. I had to figure out how to get my mic recording again. I use freaking what is it, Windows Movie Maker, but like some old, torrented version, I guess, because uh, Movie Maker no longer exists. It, it's just an unsupported Microsoft software. So I'm trying to escort this FC back. Um, I know in this game, Swifty wanted to just farm HKs. Uh, he was testing out arms, and I was like, you know, why not? Why not join? Uh, I actually was able to get him on my friends list, which is pretty cool. Um, Another reason to join his guild for classic because I really do want to farm out uh, at least rank 10 on the classic PvP servers, and um, I'm gonna be doing some sort of hybrid version of a paladin. I don't think I'm gonna go full ret because uh, I may not have time to farm out the gold required to uh, swap specs all the time when I want a PvP versus PvE. So I'm thinking some sort of hybrid. Red Prot Holy build. I do want Holy Shock. That is uh, one of the things I do want to get at least down in the Holy Tree, which kind of restricts me going into anything else. But if I feel like I don't need it, I might do some sort of Holy. Um, oh, what's what is that? Uh, what is that ability called? When um, <laughs> I I already forgot. It's in the Prot Tree. It's when you get crit, you store up uh, extra auto attacks. Um, Reckoning, I think it's called Reckoning. I want to do some sort of Holy Reckoning build, which would let me kind of heal in PvE and raid, but also DPS when I wanted to. It's also a very good 1v1 spec in Classic. Uh, surprisingly, actually, Holy is a very good 1v1 spec right now on live servers. Um, it's really good in duels, and it actually deals a lot of damage. Uh, Pretty much in, in most of the arenas that I do, I have about 60 to 70 percent of the damage overall that uh, the DPS that I run with end up getting. Especially in a, especially in quick matches, I can get up to like almost the same amount of damage that my uh, my Death Knight or my Warrior would do in the beginning. Uh, I don't run Avenging Crusader because Avenging Crusader cost costs 10k mana, and I don't have the Mechagon Essence, which would let me um, randomly proc it for big damage and healing. Um, but actually, Sanctified Wrath still gives you the plus 30% damage on your abilities, and uh, the burst is very, very similar. Um, you can get 
40 to 50k judgments depending on the um, target's health percentage. I'm running uh, Indomitable Justice for traits. And uh, you can get some nice like 20, 30k holy shocks and uh, actually good consistent damage out of Crusader Strike. Uh, but I believe my top Crusader Strike in this battleground was somewhere around 20k. Which is good considering I don't feel like I ever fell behind on healing. Um, I have to go back into the battleground and look. <laughs> right now I'm just trying to keep keep everyone up. <coughs> uh, I almost never cast Flash of Light on Holy Paladins. Um, if you need a quick heal on another target, you might as well cast... Uh, I forget what the instant cast casting E is called. It's my uh, control 5 on my key bindings. Um, Lighter the Martyr, I think. I think that's what it's called. Uh, you want to use all your procs on Holy Light, especially when you're running the 50% increased Holy Light talent. It's really good. Um, Holy Light should always be your number one healing. Uh, next to Holy Shock after that, and after that, somewhere between Light of Dawn and uh, just passives in general. Bestow Faith is pretty good. I pretty much always run Bestow Faith. Um, there's a couple other talents that you know you might want to swap out to occasionally. If you're just going for damage, you might as well lower the cooldown of um, of your Holy Shock with your Crusader Strike talent. But I I do like Bestow Faith, so I don't really run that at all. Uh, in terms of what I've been doing with my ret, um, I still play ret. I just swap my traits out. I have full ret gear, um, but again, I'm like 15, 20 item levels lower than you know most people out there. I'm about 420 item level as ret and 418 as holy. But I feel like it's high enough to where I can actually you know function in PvP. Uh, I, I gotta say one of my favorite things for holy and healing in general right now is like the skill expression um, not ever getting locked out is like the number one skill thing that you can do in World of Warcraft right now uh, a lot of other plays you know they've stripped down over the years so there's not much skill expression aside from getting you know locked out <laughs> like right there and also landing kicks um, I only got locked out right there because I didn't even notice that that was a felt hunter uh, I thought that was that hunter's pet for a second. I don't even know where the lock is there. <coughs> um, if you notice, I do I do click targets to heal, but really, like I, I don't feel like putting in ten to fifteen extra key binds for targeting or even mouse scroll wheels is worth it. And it's just kind of always a way I've healed. So I'm probably just gonna stay with clicking on targets to heal. Plus, uh, I'm not like terrible at um, mouse manipulation. I did play League a little bit and that definitely improved my my mouse <laughs> my mouse clicking skills. Uh, League's another game that I do want to upload some games on YouTube with, but um, again, uh, it, I have to be a little inconsistent right now because I'm a little concerned about my health and I'm not always home. But uh, when I when I am home, I did just move into a new apartment, so I should be able to upload and, and stream sometimes, occasionally. Especially classic. I really want to um, see if I can build a, a bit of a following during classic. Uh, that would be fun. Um, let's see. Any other topics I want to talk about? Um, I guess. Uh, one thing I, I would like to say is if you guys were kind of on the fence about coming back for 8.2, um, I'd do it. I just enjoy it the last two weeks before Classic comes out. It is a bit of fun. Um, I definitely enjoyed it at the start of 8.2. Uh, I liked Naz Nazjatar, <laughs> I think that's how you say it. And uh, I didn't do much of Mechagon. I, I'm actually almost exalted with Naz Nazjatar. But I uh, didn't touch Mechagon pretty much at all, aside from getting like maybe a mount or two. But I'm still friendly. Maybe eventually I'll grind it out, maybe during 8.3 or something for uh, for flying. But I'm not too sure I want to grind out a bunch of dailies just to, you know, go back to classic in um, in two weeks, roughly two weeks, a little over two weeks now. 
Um. Yeah, just if you guys notice that double proc I have right there, one of those procs is Empyrean Power that I have on my weak aura. Um, it's in my helm piece, I believe, but I didn't Azerite reforge it out of uh, out of ret traits, so it's still proccing. And uh, when I get my Divine Favor procs or or whatever they're called, um, they just kind of overlap. But it's not like that when I have my my traits reforged to the correct pieces. So uh, what I'm doing in this game right here is I'm I'm trying to keep everyone up. I'm trying to not let Swifty die ever. Um, Big holy light heals right there, or divine light, whatever it's called now. They they always interchange divine light and holy light throughout the expansions. Uh, I remember divine. There used to be three. There was flash of light, holy light, and divine light. And I remember, I think it was during Warlords of Draenor. No one ever touched holy light because it was like an inexpensive but super long cast that did less healing than flash of light. But I think divine light had like the same mana cost, but healed for like like 20 30 percent of someone's health bar versus like a 2k tick on holy light uh, a few things i want to touch on about classic for holy is um apparently you're an unkillable god like armor armor back in the day i remember being really strong especially like against melee classes like now now in live all the melee classes have magic damage so really armor doesn't do much um to be honest, even against even against rogues and warriors, it really does not feel like armor does much. Uh, you know, arms has those bleeds that kind of shred through armor, um, even if they're overpowered. Mortal strike aren't hitting that hard. Rogues have venom and poisons, and uh, subtlety has some shadow damage, even though subtlety damage really isn't that good. I guess the only class that um, armor really does anything against like completely is is probably outlaw rogues now outlaw and fury warriors actually i know it really sucks trying to kill holy paladin as a fury warrior especially when you can uh you just sit there you juke their only kick you absorb their only stun <laughs> and they just sit there while you just hard cast slow divine lights with your health going nowhere you gain that 15 percent damage reduction from uh from the holy uh holy light talent holy light pvp talent all right, so the battleground's uh, winding down here. Only a couple minutes left. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing right here. I'm just like I'm trying to stay ahead of the other healer and damage and healing right now. As you can see, I I just go in and you know pop all my offensive abilities, spam Crusader Strike. You always want consecration on the ground. It costs virtually all of those abilities cost virtually no mana, and uh, consecration lasts for 12 seconds, but it has a four second cooldown, so you can have it down 100% of the time, all the time. As you can see right there, I think I just hit that guy for about 20k, about a 20k hit with um <laughs> with my holy light, and again right there that was uh I, I can't quite see that number I don't have my glasses but um yeah this DK is just shredding guys and I'm gonna try and get another big holy light on him let's see if I get it oh I got locked yeah I swear I canceled that cast but whatever I remember that cast so. I'm not going to do any damage there because the heal got absorbed, but yeah, big AoE damage on that Death Knight. Um, big healing on myself, this rogue. This rogue is tickling me with Vendetta. Just tickling, and I'm going to turn around and kill him with a Avenging Crusader. Not Avenging Crusader, uh, Avenging Wrath. Bop off this Vendetta and just finish him off right there and uh, heal myself up. I think Light of Dawn had um, one of the coolest animations in the game I've ever seen they initially put in i remember i think it was cataclysm beta when they put in light of dawn it looked like a like a holy missile i think it was cata or it was mop but it originally did not have that arcing um arcing animation i'm pretty sure it did it didn't even make it through like the first the first patch of the cataclysm beta um but i remember that animation and it was really cool all right, so um, I'm going to sign off here. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. Hopefully, I'll be able to get out some more videos soon. Take care.